What's up everybody? Another trading lesson from Navigation Trading. So if you like these videos, make sure you hit subscribe and we will keep on cranking them out for you. Today I want to go over a trade that we're going to do in QQQ, the NASDAQ ETF. So this uh, upside run is continuing at the time of this recording. And so what we have in place is a couple things here. We have a, a call vertical spread, which was uh, once part of an iron condor with this strong move up. Price had breached our break even. We closed out the untested side and prices just continued to rip higher. So now the question is, what do we do? Do we just close this and take a loss or do we want to extend duration and continue this trade? Well, for us in our portfolio, we need that short directional bias as, as premium sellers. It helps protect us to the downside in the case of a quick volatile move, kind of like we saw in February. So we want to continue to keep some short delta in our portfolio. Uh, we're definitely not overweight. So keeping this short bias in our portfolio is what we need to do. And doing it in the NASDAQ, uh, which you know now is hitting new all-time highs, we look at that as you know a potentially a short-term price extreme. So if we can get a little bit of downside, you know that's going to help benefit our portfolio. And so that's what we're going to do. You know, if this was just an isolated trade on its own, then you got to make the decision: do you want to stay in the trade or do you just want to close it for loss? For us, we are going to extend duration, and to do that, we're simply going to roll from March, which currently has uh, let's see, what's it got? Seven days to expiration. Okay, so we're getting close to that expiration date. Anytime we kind of get into within a week is when we typically start rolling these positions that are, you know, have a high, uh, a low probability of getting back into their range, but we still want to keep them on. That That's when we look to start rolling these defined uh, risk positions. If it was an undefined risk position, we would have rolled it with, you know, just under 21 days to expiration. With defined risk, we give them a little bit more uh, leeway just because they are defined risk. We don't have that kind of uh, gamma exposure in our portfolio. So here's what we're gonna do. We are going to roll from March to April, and then we are going to uh, select, uh, adjust to some different strikes because price is so far away from where our current strikes are. Uh, what I did is I went in I as a theoretical position. I said, okay, what if we move it to the 173, 176 call vertical? So if I uncheck our current position and I check on the theoretical, that's what we want. We want it to have that positive theta, in this case, 70 cents a day of theta for one contract. We're going to keep the same number of contracts, three. So, you know, over two bucks of theta a day. So it's within our range, gives us a little bit more of a buffer to the upside, but really a bearish, bearish uh, bias position. You know, we want it to move down to benefit that piece, giving us a max profit of 417. Max, you know, total buying power needed $483, as you see right here when I hover over. So that's what, uh, so that looks good. So that's what we're going to do. We've got a couple other positions on here. One that I've already rolled to April, so don't pay attention to that one. We're simply focusing on the one in March, which is these three contracts here. And we're going to roll that from March to April and change our strikes to the 173, 176. So to do that, you can simply highlight the position right click create rolling order sell vertical roll now it defaults to the next expiration cycle which is a weekly that's not the one we want so we want to change that out to the april 20th which is the april monthly cycle and then like i show here we want to change it to the 173 176. so this is on the bottom this is the one that we are closing out and we're reopening it on these on the top one here so those are the ones we're, we're uh, closing out, and then we're going to sell the 173, and we're going to buy the 176. So we're, we're doing that for a debit. You know, we love to roll for a credit if at all possible, but in this case, with this huge move in price, if you want to stay in the trade, you're going to pay a debit to do this roll, which is, you know, is how it should be, right? We're, we're closing out this one, we're reopening, we're changing the strikes. So we've, there's a little bit of a cost to do that, but that's what we want to do to stay in the trade. So we're trying to extend that duration, stay in the trade, give ourselves more time to be right, continue to book winners and manage our way out of what is currently a losing trade. So this is how you roll a vertical in QQQ. Hope it was helpful.
If you'd like to learn more about how we've taught over 10,000 members how to trade options for consistent income, just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, click on the big orange button, and we'll give you immediate access to our flagship course, Trading Options for Income. We'll also give you the Navigation Trading Implied Volatility Indicator that you see on our charts, along with the watch list that we use to trade the most profitable symbols day in and day out. All this is yours, no cost. Just go to our site, navigationtrading.com, and we look forward to seeing you on the inside.